Hey guys, welcome to our school announce. How would you like to frame your windows on your bus right the first time? Well, stick around till the end of this video and you'll see how we did that. And at the very end, we're gonna do a little walk around of the windows all framed and painted. Say no, I'm not like you, I don't think that you get it You should go, go and get out, I'll make you regret it ah, ah, ah. Someone like you should worry about Maybe it's you who's upside down And I'm not like you, I don't think that you get it ah, ah, ah. I don't wanna put on a smile, everybody expects me to So you can keep your suit and your tie, gotta hope that it strangles you yeah, I do. You guys, you don't need to impress the ones you hate that so up. Cause everything you own just ends up owning you. So, dear society, you suck. <laughs> Say no. about your posts I know they're only fake show us what you own and how much money that you make yeah I know that you're trying to fix me but I don't want to be like you keep your stupid job pretend that you're the person you want it to be <laughs> and you're dying not to work but work until you die and you're dying not to work but work until you die you're dying not to work but work until you die you're dying
So this is how the bus comes standard. It had just this washer here with a Phillips head screw going right into the, the metal, at which is part of the hat channel. And I don't know about you, but I just don't think that's very attractive and I'd have a hard time um, seeing how that look would go with what I'm doing. So we're gonna change that out and make this look quite a lot more attractive. Putting in these vertical uh, boards on the uh, aluminum frame here, it's really important to cut away. It's about a sixteenth or eighth of an inch right up here and next to this aluminum. Otherwise, this board will not set flush to the wall. So I take a little oscillating saw, as you'll see in a second, and then I trim out, put a mark like right here, so I know how far to cut down to. And I do the same thing over on this other side right here. And then when I take this board off, it's not fastened yet. All I've done is sand it and dry fit it. And then I take it back off and cut away for that. So as you can see, we took off part of it. So it should fit that aluminum piece up there. It'll fit in here and allow this to uh, sit flush against the vertical. This was a very productive week for our Scully and us. We got the windows all framed. And if you look over here, they're all nicely painted and everything is caulked. So I put in three screws to hold each of these verticals. They're three and a half inches down from the top and three and a half inches up from the bottom. And then there's one here, it's, I think it was 15 and a quarter inches. So these are removable if we ever need to pull this off to replace a window. So we did the whole side here. Got the whole window sill on and nicely caulked and it's all painted so it's ready to be doing our couch work in the near future. Over here on the other side of the bus, it was a little bit different because of this air conditioner up here. We had to run a chase here. So there's a, there's a one inch water hose, a drain hose that goes down through here and it drains out the bottom of the bus. These have screws so I could remove this plate if I ever need to to service it. And the same thing back here, but it's a little bit larger. And this has the wires that service the air conditioner. They go down through the floor and then they go out through the chassis to the back of the bus. So if you like this type of content, um, like, share, subscribe, and be sure to click that bell so that you get notified whenever we post a new video. And thanks for watching.